Okay, everybody, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm your host, Admiral Tintin. Today we continue on from where we left off on the previous show. We were in the uh, sugar shop, as I prefer to call it, but it's the Candyland or whichever Conquerors, con Conkos, or... <laughs> anyway, we'll get out of that. This place here. So, we came in and we pushed the button that we weren't supposed to push. Yeah, we're just having a look around. Let's see what this does. All right. Revelio. There you are. Frog spawn soup. Oh, doesn't that sound delightful? Oh, oh yuck. Yeah, I'll pass. jeez. Very cool. Rebellion. Is that in here? It was. Upstairs. That reveal is kind of a, a lifesaver for walking around and finding, finding stuff, but... I don't know if it's actually in here. Rebellion. It says it's sort of in here, but I think it's outside. Okay. Go outside, and the name of it was Zonko's. Jeez, do I ever feel like a fool. I love Harry Potter, but yet, the same token, I can't seem to remember nothing. Frequently regarded as Hogwarts student and village alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes and hugs me. Well, I couldn't purchase anything, so. We gotta go to visit Toms and Scrolls. Last episode, I actually got my wand, so if you missed that, definitely go check it out. And. Toms and scrolls. Right there. Toms and scrolls down the street. Now, was it this way? Or was it the other way? It was definitely this way. Ollivanders. Everybody knows Ollivanders. Well, hello, putty cat. I'll give you another pet. Oh, you're so cute and cuddly. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. I got 14 cats of my own. It's, yeah. Uh, and three dogs. And, uh, yeah, that's that's not cool. <laughs> hey, here we are. An inquiring mind. Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, 
And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? All right. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure potting table with a small pot. You use the pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Small potion station spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure small potion stations. Perfectly suited for all of your potion brewing needs. Okay, so we'll purchase this one. And we'll purchase that one. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, I'm afraid I really don't have the money for it, sir. But uh, perhaps another day. Some of these do look interesting. What do you got here? Oh, I can sell stuff. Oh, not sure I really want to do that. And it kind of feels like a yucky thing to do, so... Lots of gray stuff, hey? Hmm, dirty. Yeah, you know, I'm going to hold off on, on selling. Thanks, sir. Rebellion. Oh, I seen ya. Enhanced staircase. Oh, okay. Hmm. There's a couple of chests over here somewhere. Scurrying. They're inside, but they're not inside. They're not in his shop. They're in somebody else's shop. How do we get in there? Well, isn't that something? Rebellion. They're inside, but not inside. Okay. Come here, you. See if we can't get that little box. Oh, it's locked. Locked. Dark wizards are greedier than nickels and I assure you, I'm not a dark wizard. Oh, look at that. The little thing I picked up revealed that to me. Nice. I see you, you little page. Where'd you go? Blind as a bath, aren't I? Sucker. Gotcha. Revelio. See, there's two big chests. I don't know how to get in there. Will they let me pass them? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. You wait till I can cast sleep on your little arse. <laughs> Uh, 
No, that doesn't work. Thought I'd give it a whirl. I can't open those yet, so that's something I have to come back for at a later date. Okay. Ah. Alright, so next shop. Okay, nothing's revealing itself. Let's go to the next place, which was where? Hello. We need to go to Pippin's Potions and so up and to our left. Pippin's Potions. It's a kid again with the books, man, I tell ya. He's everywhere. Oh, what's this? This should be Pippin's potions, yep. Yeah. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Well, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. The floating page back there too. We'll have to Pardon get that me, after. Sir. Oh, thank goodness! When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here, though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What Looks can I like do for you today? Uh, your face has seen a few mistakes with potion making. All right, so a recipe for healing potion. We'll take that. And recipe potions causes rocky film to develop on the customer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Oh, okay. Like, uh, feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory of sorts. or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, there's a bunch of interesting uh, ingredient stuff here, but we're. Uh, Gonna go without for now. I thank you, sir. Mind if I have a look Rebellion. around, do you? J. Pippin's Potions Sky Pages. Established in 1753. Nice. Alright, so we know out back of this shop is the page. How do we get out back? This way. Hurry are you sucker? Repower. We cast the wrong spell at the wrong time. Where'd you go? Gotcha. Rebellion. All right. 
Revelio. Oh, there's something down here. It's over here. I would like to. Hogsmeade Community Garden. Small community garden is the heart of the village and perfect spot for growing various herbs and peaceful plants. All right, my cats are playing with my garden cord. And they're starting to get rambunctious. There's a broom. Revelio. Okay, it's definitely that way somewhere. Oh, there's that mirror thing. You see that? Just faintly glowing. Somewhere. I can't get into there, <sighs> can I? No. And it's in Most there, actually. What's this? Oh, it's that honey stuff. <laughs> Free apple. Oh, just drop the rest on the ground into the water. Oh, you're a sloppy grabber, aren't you? I didn't do it. Okay. I can't get through there. Sorry. I'm a sloppy runner. Wow, I can't even get over there. Revelio. Where are you? Where you are. Hogshead Docks. Oh, there's something down here. find a way to get through to that way yep thank you Revelio. Well, it's back in there but yeah I know you little sucker Lumos. that's the dogs so of it's just that Funny, I can jump up there, but I can't jump over a bag of sand. That's crazy. Where'd you go, little butterfly? There you are. Luma. Fifteen pages here in this town. Revelio. Oh wow. Sounds like it's right next to me. I'm gonna get drunk, aren't I? Well, thanks for the food. I'm a sloppy eater, apparently. Rebellion. You were on the other side of this. Mounted hog's head. Oh, that looks slobbery. That thing there. 
So glad that I got to deal with a slobbering hog over top of whatever I'm drinking. Well, that was the docks. Oh, that's cool how they did that. All right. No, no more to reveal here right now. Of course, there's all secrets and stuff. But we'll go to the neap first. Shut a waypoint there. Go to the neap. And then after that, Rebellion. we will go to the hair salon. Or is this? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay. Oh, look at that big herb garden. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Apparently. Dittany seeds. Unlock a bit of the grow Dittany in the small pots. Thank you. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Oh, yeah. Plenty. And I'm broke. Well, that's everything. That's crazy. Better go and find Natty. Fertilizer. A nutrient rich. Oh, darn. Uh, fertilizer would be great. Um. Yeah, I don't have the money. Sorry, sir. I would Rebellion. love to. The Magic Neep Cart. The cart belongs to Timothy Tinsdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in dark thick of things and engaging in customers outside the shop. Thank you, sir. Magic Neep cart. Nice. Alright. Rebellion. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm gonna go that way, I suppose. I do want to go to the hair salon. And it's on our way, so we're gonna go there first. Rebellion. Oh, there's no twinkle twinkle, but I did see a page. Yeah, I see a page is faded, but it's through there. Oh, another kitty. What a perk kitties. You're welcome. Gotcha. Oh, there's something in there. Can I go in there? Yeah, this is the place I want to go to anyway. Madam's... Niddling Tress Memorium. Something rather that I can't read, apparently. Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? 
But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the Ministry and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Perhaps. Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Oh. What services do you offer? Well. Rebellion. I was kind of hoping for different hairstyles. Where is that? It's on the other side. That's a box that I can't open. It'll just close the moment it sees me. No. Okay. Your gear set slots are full. Oh, discard access. Just kind of. All right. Cool. Cool. Last week, I rebellion. On a second year. There's something else <laughs> pinging over here. Well, not the cat. Philly. Oh. You're welcome. It's in her shop. Right there. Rebellion. Got a pinch in my leg there. Rebellion. It's the well. Water well. else now the page or something floating around in there can't get in here can I oh I can Mannequin. Oh, it's a dress shop. Your gear slots are full. You can sell excess at the vendors. Yeah, okay. More field guides. Sneak scope. Sneakoscope. Cool. That's what I need. Oh, I gotta sell. I literally have to sell. Okay. Can we talk? Sir? I can't talk to him at all. Okay, so there's stuff in here that I just can't pick up. No way to sell it. Yep, there's stuff here, but I just... 
never trust a man. I need to sell stuff. Oh, there's kitty cats. Oh, look at that. Black one, just like a lot of mine. There's a crazy amount of cats in here. Rebellion. Scurvy shaft cats. <laughs> Something beside me. Sorry, I'm petting every cat. I know you guys are probably like, oh, come on, stop petting the cats. Well, guess what? Tops. I have to pet them. They deserve one pet at least. Come on, how can you not pet that adorable little creature? Rebellion. You never know when that adorable little creature is going to help save you or do something for you. It's over here. There you go. Blood drags wizard wear. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. I gotta press circle nine square. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at him. We have to wait him down. Oh, too early now. Well, what? I gotta press direction. I'm rolling and <laughs> I'm getting hurt bad. <laughs> Look, he's bothering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Wow. Troll with the punches was a Goodness. achievement. <laughs> a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. <laughs> Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I'm laughing at the achievement word was called troll with the punches. Like, oh my goodness, man. I got smashed. A moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Well, why? I'm not allowed to? 
Alright. Let's fix this. Repair it. Spells going on here now. Yeah. Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. Repair. Rebellion. Literally in an area I can't get to it. <clears throat> or something rather. The one I might be able to get to, but yeah, it's locked. Oh, hey. Repair. Tingle. Revelio. Ah. Uh, hindsight of Woodcroft. Hop a pop. Nice. A bag in there. I can't get in there, can I? Oh, I can. Rebellion. Magic Mall, male. Oh, okay, cool. Well, hello, kitty. Are you okay? You doing all right, kitty? Yeah. Sure, there's an awful lot of cats in this game. Yeah, I know. Rebellion. I couldn't agree more. We were just talking about you. Where are you now? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Hmm. I'll just go with thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Mary, can I sell you some Plenty stuff, Plenty for your too? perusal today. Take your time. So that's the free one. But I would like to uh, sell some stuff here. So let's sell this. 
sell that. All the gray stuff, we'll get rid of that. All right. All right. That's that's pretty. Thank you. Oh yeah. So gray, blue, orange, and another color apparently are the higher ends of the whole spectrum of things. What is this white robe? I want to preview that. Oh, I like that actually. That's nice. That's a lot of a lot of coin. But I like it. Oh, I can't even see what that is. I wish there was better hats. Huh. <laughs> really? A lo uh, asylum mask, yeah. Can't Hannibal Lecter going on there. Oh, full masks, weird, <laughs> oh heck no, that's a nice looking scarf, oh I love the coat, oh I love the coat, I love the fashion, the style, it's very nice, I love that coat. Expensive, but I love it more than robes. Okay, well, I appreciate your time, sir. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I think it was already there and had some... <laughs> I sell even more battle-worthy items. Okay. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. All right. I will take the stuff that I never got to take before at my leisure. There we go. Aristocrat Asylum or Assemblum, whatever. Revelio. Hey, there's nothing here. Gotta follow Assuming her. it is not the owner, she is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. 
heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Well, if you insist, I mean, we're walking out of here. And Buddy's like right in our face. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Mm hmm. You must return to the common room for the night. Access the map. Well, Phoey. Okay, well, I guess that concludes my session for the day. Uh, I will try to cut in some extra stuff here real quick. Yeah. All right. Well, like I was saying, I appreciate y'all for hanging out, watching the show with me, enjoying the gameplay as I play it through, and having a good time with me, I hope. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next show. So thank you so much for hanging around. Please don't forget to leave, leave a like. And if you wish to, subscribe. And if you haven't already, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next show.